This video is how to tame your hamster, especially like a dwarf where they're really hyper. Um, this is a female, one month old Russian dwarf, and she's a bit hyper now. So it's nighttime, but um, I just got her like two days ago. But the shelter wants her back actually. They weren't supposed to give her to me, but like she has to go in like quarantine or something like that. But I'm gonna get her back then, like in two weeks. So, um, see, she's pretty tiny, and I haven't tried really holding her yet, because she's so tiny, and I don't want to, like, alarm her. Her water bottle never works. Um, she's pretty docile, actually, I guess you'd say. She comes to the door and stuff. She's really inquisitive. Um, she seems really healthy. She's eating, drinking normally, and stuff like that. But, um, if I can just get her up on the ledge, if she doesn't want to go on. But, like, mainly when you want to start, like, hand taming your hamsters, um, is just talk to them a lot. And just, um, let them hear your voice. Let them know that you're not going to hurt them. You know, you're just there. You're going to help them, really, if anything. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get her. Like, I'm sticking my hand in the cage right now, and she's, see, she's looking at it, but she doesn't really care. She sniffs it, and then she just goes off. Like, just try that a couple times to begin with. Um, see, she's looking, she, she even put her paw on me. Yeah, there she goes. She's climbing on me, actually. Oh, she's climbing on me. <laughs> oh, she's really cute. Um, see, she's brushed against me, she's climbing on me, she's not biting me. Um, she's just pretty much investigating, you know. She doesn't want to hurt me. Um, but she's just, you know, figuring out who I am, you know, and if she knows I'm not going to hurt her, she won't be alarmed. So just keep a calm voice around her, um, pretty much just, you know, be calm. Don't freak out if she does bite you, because that'll just make her freak out more. She's <laughs> wondering what I'm doing. Um, like, even, like, I got her before, like, on the ledge up here, and she was walking out and stuff. And then I just put my hand, like, here, like this, and she walked right on it. And then I just kind of, like, held it like that, and she was fine, and she was calm. Um, just pretty much just try to interact with them, but don't, like, reach in and grab them and try to hold them and stuff, because that just freaks them out. Uh, you know, feeding treats by hand is a good way, but sometimes they'll just, like, take the treat and then, like, just think you're a treat dispenser not really take you for anything else. But if we just get to, like, know them and stuff, just, you know, talk to them and stuff like that, I think that's all you really need to do to tame them. Like, here she's up here now. Let's see if she can get her on my hand again. So I actually got really lucky. All my hamsters have been pretty tame already, but now she wants food. <laughs> but she's pretty calm, you know. She doesn't... There, see? It's on my hand. She's calm. You know, she's not biting me. She's just looking. She doesn't see me as a threat. Um, she wants to come out, of course, though. There you go. See? And then if I did want to pick her up, which hopefully I'll be able to do, like, a second part of, like, picking him up and stuff, but, um, you probably just, like, put your hand like this and take the other one, like, cup it over, um, like, hold them close, but make sure they can still breathe, you know? Um, and that calms them down. Like, do that for a couple of seconds. And then, um, you can release your hand and it'll just, like, stay there, you know? Um, but, yeah, that's about it. She's pretty content just wandering around. Okay. Bye.